Welcome to our Jasper Stories in partnership with Jasper Pride. Hi, I'm Karen Byers. I work in the Jasper Yalehead Museum and Archives archives. I'm the archives clerk and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my job. So first of all, um, we're pretty lucky at the Jasper Yalehead Museum to have an archives associated with the museum. Not all museums have an archives. So when we go about uh, putting together an exhibit, we not only have the artifacts, but we have access to photographs and documents too. So that works really well for the exhibits coordinator. So part of my job as an archives clerk is to handle research requests. Quite a few of our requests come in by email these days, um, sometimes by phone, um, once in a while by mail, but mostly people contact me by email and some, some of the requests um, are about family history, sometimes about history of the park itself, maybe the explorers or some of the um, mountaineers in the past. So I do my best to handle those research requests by email, but uh, sometimes people want to come in and do their own research so they can access what we call the stacks, so they can go into the research room, figure out what they would like to look at uh, on the database, and then I will pull boxes off the shelf for them to get the materials on their own. And there's no charge for doing any of that kind of research uh, here. If I'm doing research for them, the first half hour, I think, is for free. And then after that, I would charge. And then the archives also charges for use of photographs, especially if they're going into uh, commercial publications, that all can be no negotiated. Our photographs end up in books, in magazines, sometimes even in film. And so people get to see them all over the world, which is pretty impressive for such a small archive. On a daily basis, I will come in and usually there's some material that needs to be catalogued. For example, I'm working on um, the Findlay poem right now. And uh, many, many photographs donated by the Nora Finley's family. Um, early, early days in Jasper, dating back to the early 1900s. And so I'm putting them into acid-free envelopes so they'll be stored, but also I'm scanning some of them so that they are accessible to people on the internet. Post our photos uh, several times a week up on Facebook. Some of them are available through the Archives Society of Alberta's website so people can put our photos there and um, more to them. So researchers can come into our research room. Um, they have access to a computer and so they can access our database here. They can do their own research. I will pull the documents off the shelf for them to work in here. We ask people to wear white gloves to keep documents and photos pristine and yeah. So this is the archive stacks. A small portion of the basement is devoted to documents and photographs because they don't take up all that much room compared to artifacts. When somebody dies or when a business closes or an organization decides to donate items to the museum, we bring them in through the accession process and then afterwards I have to make sense of how they're organized and make sure that they are accessible. So I'll go through the boxes, we'll put them into acid-free envelopes, into file folders, I'll enter them into the database, the number that's linked to their accession, then they're stored in boxes like this and I'll be able to find them later. We also have a huge library started out with donated books. Some of the earliest books were Fred Brewster's books, but over the years we've added, people have donated, we purchased books, and in some cases people who have used our photographs have given us a required submission. So a copy of their book goes into the collection, so the library's just grown a great deal over the years. On this side of the storage area are photographs. The original photographs go into special boxes and envelopes where they're stored. While many of them have been digitized, we regularly go back, go back to the original photo for a better scan or our research purposes. Sometimes people have noted details on the back of the photo, always go back to the original um, many, many times. We also have a fireproof safe, so we keep very precious photo albums in here. Some of the uh, video recordings are stored in here. We could use five of these fireproof safes. So these shelves all roll. A lot of this is very specialized equipment and gives us access to more of the collection. And you can see our extensive library, many, many more boxes. So this area is just about completely full. My last space on the photo shelf, that's all I've got left.
If you would like to learn more about the Jasper area, please visit us when we're open to the public again. If you would like to see more of our Jasper stories and the many other programs we develop, please visit our website to learn how you can support the Jasper Yellowhead Museum and Archives.